वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टू द क्लास नंबर 40 वी हैव कवर्ड इन फुल डिटेल द होल कांसेप्ट ऑफ एनडब्ल्यूसी एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल गैप आई होप यू हैव वाचड ऑल दीस वीडियोस दैट आई हैव शेयर्ड अर्लियर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर द कांसेप्ट ऑफ करंट रेशियो इफ यू हैव सीरियसली वाचड द वीडियो ऑफ एनडब्ल्यूसी एंड वर्किंग कैपिटल गैप देन दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट अ पीस ऑफ केक फॉर यू व्हाट इज करंट रेशियो द सिंपल फार्मूला ऑफ करंट रेशियो इज करंट एसेट्स अपॉन करंट लायबिलिटीज टोटल करंट एसेट्स अपॉन टोटल करंट लायबिलिटीज you may remember that in nwc we used the same thing same two terms current assets and current liabilities we calculated their difference and we interpreted interpreted various meaning from the outcome of that right so current ratio is no different thing from that in just a uh, presentation way is a bit different in current ratio we are showing it it in terms of a uh, de- uh, numerator and denominator uh, point so this is more like a nwc with only difference is expression of a relation right here in nwc we explained the relation in value terms the difference between current assets and current liabilities is explained by way of a value terms but in current ratio we are expressing the same in terms of a multiple right how many times the current assets are of current liabilities so for example the current assets are rupees 120 and current liabilities are rupees 100 the current the nwc in this case would be rupees 20 and current ratio will be 1.2x 1.2 times or 1.2x so this is must uh, mere a uh, you know a different way of presentation although the meaning the actual crux of both of these things are more or less same right so if nwc is positive nwc is positive like here the current ratio would be all would also be positive and vice versa if it is negative then the current ratio will also be negative by negative i mean the current ratio will be less than 1 when we say the current ratio is negative that means the current ratio is less than 1 when we say the current ratio is positive that means it is more than 1 right in in industry uh, msme is particularly the current ratio of 1.2x to 1.33x is considered good in india although many such many big corporates operate at lower current ratio also of 1.8x 0.9x right if they are operating at lower current ratio this doesn't mean that they are doing any wrong business like walmart they are operating at lower current ratio because they receive uh, advances uh, from uh, their clients right so lower current ratio does not mean that you are uh, doing wrong in your business but when we talk about msme space particularly in india the current ratio has to be in 1.2 to 1.33x so that uh, the msmes can run their business smoothly in long run we have already interpreted the meaning in nwc points in full detail right so the point to learn here is nwc is positive current ratio is more than 1 if nwc is negative that means current ratio is less than 1 this point will be discussed more and more in the upcoming videos in cma related videos in the mpbf videos where i will just say that nwc is negative hence current ratio is less than 1 so you need to understand why i why i will say that term because and negative nwc for example if current assets are 80 and current liabilities are 100 the and the so nwc will be minus 20 so negative nwc would mean the current ratio of 0.8x means current ratio is less than 1 so you have to understand that clearly in your head so 1.2x current ratio means the current assets the current assets has 1.2x 1.2 times 1.2x or 120% capability or coverage to their short term obligations so if you have to pay 100 rupees in next 12 months then you have then you have 120% coverage or security with you to repay those 100 rupees in next 12 months this ensure that you are you are good you are having good solvency ratio right in the next 12 months so as we have as we understand nwc now this excess 20% coverage is due to the long term funds being invested to finance the current assets in nwc we clearly understood that if current assets are rupees 100 and current liabilities are rupees 80 current assets are rupees 100 current liabilities are rupees 80 then this 20 rupees where these 20 rupees have come from these have come from the long term sources 
I will again make a small balance sheet for you to understand it better. Suppose there are current assets of rupees hundred. Suppose there are no non-current assets, no fixed assets, no other non-current assets. They are nil, right? So the current liabilities here are rupees eighty, right? So the total of balance sheet always tally with each other of both sides hundred. Or there, there must be hundred rupees total here as well. So where will be the balance twenty rupees? The balance twenty rupees shall be from the non-current liabilities or long-term liabilities or long-term sources of finance. Long-term liabilities, rupees twenty. These are the balancing figure. So NWC of rupees twenty represents that twenty rupees has been financed from the long-term sources. So in the current ratio, if the coverage is one point two x. The 1.2x coverage represent the 20% amount. 20% amount of current liabilities is managed from the long-term sources. Managed from the long-term sources. And now, in the previous video, you have also learned what is the genuine mistake that we do in calculation of NWC. We have studied that we calculate the short-term portion of long-term debt and make it part of the NWC. Which gives us gives us kind of inaccurate results because these loans uh, are invested in creation of current uh, non-current assets, not current assets, right? So that thing kind of gives us inaccurate results. So since in current asset current ratio also we are taking all of current assets and all of current liabilities, so the automatically the re current ratio formula also gives you kind of inaccurate results due to the short term portion of Short term portion of long term debt being included in it. Remember, one or two banks calculate their current ratio by revising this formula. How they take total current assets, they take total current assets, and in denominator they take current liabilities, current liabilities excluding this item, excluding these. short term obligations of long term loans these are the those loans which are used to finance the fixed assets like machinery land building vehicles these are those loans only not working capital term loans so they exclude these term loans short term obligation in current liabilities and calculate their revised current ratio accordingly and they calculate their nwc also accordingly right i don't want to name the bank but that bank do the thing very properly and that is why their most many proposals gets fit in their cma data right so that these technical terms do you don't worry about what is cma data how proposal does get uh, gets fits in in that we will cover that in upcoming videos in next video we will discuss more about uh, some mpbf norms stay tuned with this channel thank you very much